boys and girls, how are you this week? We're doing good. I hope you are too. First thing we're going to do today, our memory verse. And you know what? I don't even have to do it because some of you have sent in videos to help us out with it. And I'm so glad about that. I was so excited to get your videos. So first of all, and I want you to make sure and say it along with your friends who are going to help us today, okay? So we've got Poppy and Jessica and Louisa and then we've got Josiah and Cole and Noah. So I want you to say your memory verse with them and make sure you join in, okay? All right, here they are. Hello, Matthew chapter 19 verse 26. With God all things are possible. Matthew 19 verse 26. With God all things are possible. The Bible says with, with, with God all God. things are possible. This is it. With God all things are possible. With God all things are possible. great wasn't it you are all learning your memory verses so well and i'm so happy and i love getting your videos so keep sending them in even just send in a wee video and say hello because i love to see it so does no too now do you remember last week we had been learning we've been learning for a few weeks about what happened to jesus at the end of his life do you remember there was lots of men who were really horrible they hated Jesus. They didn't like what he was teaching. And Jesus died on the cross. That was sad. But it was really good because he died to take away our sins. He died because he loves us. He loves you and he loves me. That's why he died on the cross. To take away, away our sins so that we wouldn't have to be punished. And then last week we heard about how Jesus rose again. He didn't stay dead. He was only dead three days and then he rose again. He came back to life. And you remember, he met the ladies and they were going to tell the disciples that Jesus had risen again. Well, do you know what? Jesus didn't only see those ladies. Jesus came back lots of times over, over a, a little while and he told the disciples some things. Do you know, he had finished his work of of um, taking away our sins whenever he died on the cross but he had something that he still had to tell the disciples and we're going to talk about that today do you know Jesus had something some very important news that he had to tell the disciples some a very important job that he had for them Jesus told his disciples this and then he wanted them to do something else so we're going to read something from our Bible. Look, can you see? The words are red. Whose words are those then? Yeah, they're Jesus' words, that's right. So Jesus said this. Jesus said to his disciples, there was more than three, but I've just got three here today. He says, go, go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, that's God, the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost. That's who's with us right now. So Jesus said to his disciples, you have to go, I want you to go, and I want you to teach and to tell everybody, all nations, that means everybody in the world, not just the people right beside you, but everybody go as far as you can and teach them and tell them about God and about me, about Jesus, and about the Holy Ghost, about, about the, the Holy Spirit that Jesus would leave 
whenever he went back to heaven. So that was Jesus' job for his disciples. That was a job he left them to do. That was what he wanted them to do. Do you know, Jesus said something else. He said, teach them. So wonder, these were disciples and they were to make more disciples. Do you know what a disciple is? A disciple is a follower of Jesus. Somebody who knows about Jesus, who loves him, and who does what Jesus wants them to do. A follower of Jesus. So these disciples were to make more disciples, more followers of Jesus. So they were to tell other people, tell their friends and other people all about Jesus so that they could follow Jesus too. And he said, teaching them all things whatsoever I have commanded you. So all the things that I have told you, you tell your friends, you tell the other people, even people that you don't know. You tell them about me. And do you know what else he said? He said, I am with you all the way, even on to the end of the world. Jesus says, even though I'm going to go back to heaven, I am with you. You know, I always say that, don't you? That's something that we learn in our Sunday school class right from the very start. That Jesus is right here beside us all the time. And there's where I find that in my Bible. Jesus says, I am with you all the way. One of my very, very favourite parts of the Bible because I love to know that Jesus is right here with us always. Even though we can't see him, he's still here. And that's what Jesus was telling his disciples. He says, now you have to go and tell other people about me. So do you know, that's what his disciples did. So his disciples, they told their friends and people that they didn't know all about Jesus and then do you know what their friends well then they told even more people about Jesus wow it just kept getting bigger more and more and more people were hearing about Jesus and learning about Jesus and it did it spread all across the world because Jesus lived in a place called Israel now, and that's a long way from where we live. But still, we know about Jesus because the disciples, they told their friends, and their friends told their friends, and it went all around the world. And you know, we know some people, <clears throat> and they have gone to tell other people away around the world. I know maybe some of you know Danny and Philippa and Izzy and Judah, and they have gone to the Philippines. They're not there right now, but they have gone to the Philippines to tell other boys and girls and mummies and daddies all about Jesus. But you know, do you think is it only missionaries, only people or, or ministers like, like my daddy, like your Reverend Maxwell and like Pastor Samuel, do you think is it only people like that that are to tell Jesus, tell people about Jesus? No, no it's not. Do you know that verse in the Bible? That's not just for, for people whose job it is to do that. That's for everybody. For you, for me, for your mummies and daddies, anybody who loves Jesus. We should tell our friends and tell other people about Jesus. That's why I like to do these videos and to tell you about Jesus. That's why I come to Sunday School, to tell you about Jesus because I want you to know about him. You're my friends, aren't you? Yeah, and I want other people who I don't even know to know about it. And that's what you should do too. Do you know, I'm gonna do a wee bit of drawing on here now. Let's see. I'm only just gonna draw your faces. But imagine, we've got a wee girl, a wee boy, and maybe, we'll give him some spiky hair, will we? What if they, told their friends about Jesus and you've got lots of little boys and lots of little girls that heard about Jesus that I give them their eyes and everything which we'd never do if they didn't have any eyes and they need a mouth because they need to be able to tell Jesus tell other people about Jesus don't they so that's what Jesus wants us to do he wants us to tell our friends he wants us to tell 
maybe even our mummies and daddies, or our grannies and grandas, or our aunties and uncles, all about Jesus. And then whenever these people, if they follow Jesus, if they love Jesus, then they can tell their friends about Jesus. And oh wow, we start to get lots and lots and lots and lots of boys and girls and mummies and daddies that know all about Jesus and that follow Jesus. Imagine, imagine what it would be like if lots and lots of people, even more people knew about Jesus just because you or I told somebody about them. Do you know, there's a verse, another verse in the Bible and it's found in Romans chapter 1 verse 16 and it says for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes to the Jew first and then to the Jew, Greek do you know that's a lot of big words in there isn't it but really it says I'm not I'm not worried about what other people think of me because the good news about Jesus is so important it's got lots of power it's got power to forgive us and take away our sins. That's what it's saying. It's the power of God. So we shouldn't be worried about telling our friends. Sometimes it is a wee bit, can be a wee bit worried about it. But we shouldn't be worried about it. We shouldn't be worried about what other people think. Because it's really good news. And you want to tell your friends really good news, don't you? That's what Jesus wants us to do. That's what Jesus wants the mummies and daddies to do. That's what he wants me to do. He wants us all to tell everybody that we can about him because it is really good news, isn't it? It's the best news that we could tell anybody. Do you know, that's our story for today. And I hope you remember about it. I Maybe you don't see very many people these days, but perhaps you talk to grannies and grandas on maybe on a video call or something. You could maybe even tell them or your friends whenever you see them again at school. You can tell them about Jesus. If you love Jesus, if you have asked Jesus to come into your heart, if you have asked him to take away all those naughty things, that's what you need to do first. I'm telling you so that you can do that. So that you can ask Jesus to come into your heart to take away those bad behaviours so that you can live forever with him. Alright? Now, you keep learning that memory verse and come see me next week. Bye bye.